Hello and welcome to Clean Cut, where we talk about the truth. All we have to do is use solid logic and common sense, and away we go. This season we're taking a closer look at the temptations that people have to see if we can figure out why we're tempted to commit sins. People generally commit sins because they're after something they want and they sin in an attempt to get it. So we're looking over the things people want. Today, accomplishments. Once again, we'll start out by defining what we mean by accomplish. Definition, to bring about a result by effort. So, when we're talking about people being tempted by accomplishments, this means they want to specifically bring about a result by their own actions or other efforts. Something like winning a race, creating a new computer program, or producing a type of medicine that works better than what came before. Anything else that people want to do, which produces a result they want, would also fall into this very broad category of desires and temptations. There are, of course, many different reasons why people are driven to accomplish new things. It can be something as simple as a desire for glory, or it could be that they've seen a specific problem throughout their lives and are desperate to make sure the problem doesn't affect others in the future. Maybe their accomplishment is something they want to do to benefit a loved one, like designing a better kind of artificial limb, or on the flip side, their accomplishment goals might involve hurting someone else, taking revenge for a wrong done to them in the past. Some accomplishments, of course, are bad things to accomplish, like murdering someone, but most aren't inherently sinful. So, what kinds of dangers come with being tempted to accomplish things that aren't sinful? Well, some are the dangers that accompany pleasure, a building obsession with the thing you want to accomplish, which can distract you from your moral obligations and prevent you from helping people who desperately need it. Think about It's a Wonderful Life, in which the character of George Bailey wanted desperately to effect an escape from the town of Bedford Falls. What would have happened to that town if he'd taken off earlier in the film like he'd originally planned to? The building and loan would have closed its doors, and lots of people in Bedford Falls wouldn't have been able to get homes of their own. George Bailey gave up the thing he wanted most, and many, many people benefited from his decision. In the same way, stubbornly clinging to an accomplishment that we want can indirectly cause harm to lots of people, even if we don't mean it to, by taking us away from people who need us. In Romans 8.20, St. Paul refers to the world as having been subjected to futility. While our actions do sometimes produce results that help people, the very fact that everyone dies does limit their total impact. However, our actions weren't meant to be futile in this way, and we know it because Jesus' actions are very impactful. For the Son of Man also has not come to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a redemption for many. Mark 10.4 Jesus gave his life to redeem everyone else from their sins. However, he promised even greater and more impactful actions would follow. But the water that I will give him shall become in him a fountain of water, springing up into life everlasting. John 4.14 Jesus promises that he will give people water, which will allow them to enter eternal life. We call this baptism, which allows us to enter heaven by becoming children of God. In heaven there is no futility, and people's actions do have strong effects, instead of the meager ones they most often have here on earth. So, while an obsession with certain accomplishments can inhibit our ability to do right and make progress in the spiritual life, or even lead us into sin in some cases, it's not wrong to accomplish things, it's just very difficult, and if we're willing to be patient, we'll find that accomplishments in heaven are far superior. Next time, the temptation of knowledge. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.